what's up everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to add the product sliders on your woocommerce store so let's get right to it first of all as you can see here i'm on my wordpress dashboard and you want to install a couple of plugins for this to work now obviously first you need to install woocommerce which is the e-commerce plugin for wordpress which allows you to add products and sell products and stuff like that and the second one we'll need to add is the Elementor uh, plugin, which is a powerful website builder, which we will use here in this video. And the third one is called the uh, Lenter or the Shop Lenter or the Woo Lenter. Now, if you don't have any of these uh, plugins, now go to plugins here, add new plugin. And here search for WooCommerce. Okay, and uh, hit enter. And of course, you need to have it installed and active. Now, I presume since you're watching this video, you already have WooCommerce. Now, the second one is Elementor. Okay, hit enter. And this is the one you want to install, the Elementor website builder. Install it and activate it. And the third one is called the Woo Lentor or the Shop Lentor. This is the one you want, the Shop Lentor WooCommerce builder. Install it and activate it. And now, all you want to do is to go ahead here to your store and as you can see here I have only one product but let's say you are selling like more than one product and these are tech products like uh, computer mouse keyboards uh, screen stuff like that now all you need to do is to edit the uh, website with Elementor so go to your main dashboard once again and then visit the website itself Okay, so this is the website. Let's say you want to add a product slider on the home page. Just simply click on edit with Elementor. Now it'll open up the uh, like we website in the Elementor editor. And here what you want to add or in the widgets here, search for one. And it should appear here one page slider, which is amongst the Woolenter widgets. And you want to drag it right here. And as you can see, it gives you like a beautiful vertical slider. And in the uh, sections here in the editor, here, let's go and select the first one, the Boho Dreams. Of course, you want to edit it to uh, have products here. Now, in the image, you want to select a background image for the product. So choose image. Here, I can download or I can upload images for my products. Now, for the sake of this video, let's say I sell food products. So this is like an oil, okay, and this image appears right here. Now the text, now the text here, we, for the text, we want to select here or type in olive oil and the subtitle, let's say extra virgin olive oil, okay, now the button it should say shop now okay or let's uh, change it to buy now and in the link here you want to add the link for this products uh, specific page so you want to go ahead and grab this products uh, page link and paste it right here so that once the customer uh, clicks on buy now they'll be redirected to the buy now page or the product page now this is the content if you click on style here I can uh, change the colors so for the title let's make it uh, like a um, a darker color okay to be able to appear and for the subtitle let's make it in a lighter shade okay looking good and I can also edit the fonts and the margins and stuff like that however let's say it's good this way now let's go back here in the second slide Let's change the image to, let's say, um, these greens, this basil leaf. And let's change the title to greens. Okay, and the subtitle, let's add fresh greens. Okay, and the button, let's say by now. And again, you should paste here the link. In the link here, you should paste the link for this product's specific page. 
and I can even uh, uh, make it a video if I want to a video button to redirect to a certain video link uh, okay now uh, I say this one is good for now let's edit the third one okay and uh, let's go ahead and change the image choose image let's choose this image for this uh, honey jar and let's change the title to organic honey the subtitle fresh organic honey okay if you scroll down you can see here and as you can see the images move beautifully with the sliders uh, order and you can of course click to view each of the elements themselves now here let's say buy now and of course again you should paste your uh, product link right here now i want to edit here the font and the color now let's go to style let's in the alignment here i can align it to the right i can change the area background i can change the title uh, color let's make it something like an orange background or like a yellow dark yellowish background and the typography i can edit the typography the font and the size okay let's edit the font the size i can make it bigger or smaller if i want to i can edit the weight the style and decoration as well now let's go to the subtitle change it to like a darker red shade okay and i can also edit the typography change the size Okay, let's make it a bit smaller change the font okay this one is good and the style uppercase lowercase here italic awake and decoration under line over line stuff like that line height word spacing and everything and uh, i can even edit the hover color so once i hover over it uh, the button uh, for the button i can edit the color let's make it for the sake of this video let's make the blue i know it doesn't like match however uh make the blue and once you hover over it it'll be red so if i hover over it it'll transform into a red shade i can edit the font as well so let's say okay this one i'm just like selecting uh, random fonts and i can edit the size Let's make it a big one. And the background color as well. And in the background type, I can set it to a solid color or a gradient. So if it's a gradient, I can select the two colors here, red and pink. And as you can see, it's gradient. And I can select if it's linear or radial gradient. And so on. So here I can add new elements as well, new items. So if it's a slider with more than three products. However, I say that it is good right now. So I can save it here. Update to save all the changes that I made. And of course, I can go back at any time and change any of these settings. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can easily add beautiful sliders to your WooCommerce page on WordPress.